What you doing, P? What you doing, babe? Come here. Come here, come here. I'm not gonna take you in the water. Come here. Go swim, Peanut. Peanut. Why are you scooting all the way against the wall? <laughs> Is that your sign you don't want to go in the water? Peanut. Come here, see Daddy. I was gonna give you a cookie. He says, nope. You want a cookie? Table. Panda. Panda, you want to go in the water? <laughs> He's coming to mama. What? You gonna go in the water? Go get your cookie. What? You don't want to go swimming? You want to go swimming? What are you afraid of the water for? And uh, come here. He's going that way. He's laying down over there by two minutes. Got a wet dog laying with me. That felt good though, buddy, huh, Panda? Hey, you feel better? Nice and cool? Good boy. Say bye. Hey guys, welcome back to Glitz and Glitter. I have a new one for you. I have these open back pendant bezels. I have never done these before. So this is a first for me. So we're going to learn again together. I have a whole jar full of these. So I just went through and I picked out a couple silver, a couple antique ones, a little gold one. The only difference between these ones are these four lay flat. This one does not lay flat because of the little connector up here sticks out so I did have to put the tape just underneath that so I got those laid down I just kind of pushed them down with a pen like this that way they don't leak again it's my first time so be patient with me um, I'm going to be using UV resin to do this and I am going to make these look like a beach scene um, so this is the resin by Let's Resin I have a ton of sand that I got at our local beach, Siesta Key in Sarasota, Florida, which is gorgeous white sand. It's crushed quartz. It's not really sand and it's cool to the touch when you're on it. I just love that beach. Um, so I'm going to be using Siesta Key sand. I'm going to be using navy blue and a blue green color and then um, white, which I have not gotten out of the cabinet. I forgot it. So I have a bunch of little cups here and what I'm going to do is off camera I'm just going to put a little bit of each one get them all ready I did shut the blind in my window I don't want my UV resin curing before I'm ready so have your UV light ready and keep everything out of the Sun when you're working with this kind of resin so let me get everything mixed up I've got a dotting tool that I just got from Timu and we're gonna be using that to make the waves, the wave line with the white. So I barely need any white. So let me get that going and I'll be right back. All right, I've got everything mixed up. I have no idea how much to use. I literally, guys, when you see me on here, I don't practice anything. Um, I just come on here and do it. 
So I'm too cheap with my resin to make a practice one to, to let you know that I know what I'm talking about. Because I, I mean, that's some things I do, but from past experience, but generally it's my first time. So these are my dark blue. That was my sand, my green blue. I used cast and craft for my white, which you barely need any. And obviously the sand. So let me get these out of the way. I will zoom in so you can see a little bit better. If you guys, saying all that, if you guys have any tips for me, I am welcome to them, please. I would love your tips. I know some of you do comment or email me and I love that. So email me any tips that might make my life easier when I redo some of these videos. So let's get you zoomed in and start dropping a little bit of these resins. And I will fast forward just because it can get boring. Okay, I'm just gonna take this dotting tool and just kind of put it where I want it. That one's good. And as long as you don't have UV lights coming in. You have as long time to, that's why I like UV resin because you have as long as you want to take. Okay. Maybe I'll just zoom out a little bit so you can see all of them at once. Because I always forget about you guys in the camera not being able to see anything. I'm just going to wipe that off and then drop some, some of the green, green blue. I want to put shells or something in these. Um, I just don't know if I have them small enough to fit inside. So I will look for those in just a few minutes. I wanted to order some, but I didn't see anything I liked. And then another 10 to 15 days and I couldn't wait that long. I had, I had to try. It was killing me. I wanted to try to make them. little left. Almost perfect mixing on that. Okay, I'll set that one aside and go in for the blue. I love this color. One of my favorite colors. I don't know how blue became my favorite color. When I was a little girl, everything had to be pink. I definitely grew out of that stage. This color, I will probably need more. do barely anymore. Maybe not.
Okay, I'm just gonna take this and scoot it to the edges. I'm just gonna blend this a little bit so it doesn't look so rigid. come in closer for you as soon as I'm done. How does that look guys? None of them leaked! Oh my gosh, I just realized the first time. None of them leaked. Let's see. Let's start over here. Does it look somewhat natural? Let's put some water waves in there. Actually, I'm gonna turn you off and go see if I can find a shell. I found these tiny shells. This is all I have left to my name. I've used shells in so many things, I have to go buy some more. But I think some of these might actually work. Some of the tiny, tiniest ones. Because I am going to flood coat these and put a clear coat on the front and I think the back. Not sure if you're supposed to do the back or not, but hey, whatever. It's mine, so I could do whatever I want, right? guys able to see? No, I'm sorry. See, that's why I don't like to zoom you in because I forget. Okay, I think I'm gonna go back with one more. As long as they're underneath the bezel frame, we should be good. So I'm trying to get the tiniest ones I have. One more. Something small. My email is on the screen. If you want any of my demos, I sell them at cost plus shipping. So if you are interested in anything like that, any demo from any video, if I still have it, email me. Let me know where you're at. I'll get you a shipping cost. I only charge the cost of the materials to get them out of my house. So yeah, if you haven't, people email me with, you know, whatever. It doesn't have to be for that. If you have advice for something, please send me an email. I would love to hear it. I'm learning just like you are. I'm just gonna blend this a little bit more. And I can't believe it's that easy. Um, I'm not sure if I should put the white in now. I'll try one. I'm just gonna dot my tool. Yeah, I think I should put it in now. Before we cure it. I like how that one spread out. I'm using Cast and Craft for the white today. I don't generally use cast and craft for my waves, um, but I figured I'd try it for this, and it seems to be doing good. I like the way it's feathering itself.
Oh my god, I love them! Too bad I don't have an outlet to sell these things. Like, for jewelry, in resin? Oh my gosh, it's almost all profit. It's just your time. But if you love to do it, what's the difference? It's not really a job at that point. All right, guys. Oh, I'm so excited. I can't believe this can be done in like half an hour and you're finished. Okay, I'm gonna get my UV light on. Move some of this stuff out of the way. Oh, I guess plugging it in would help. Okay, I'm gonna plug this in and get it cured. Be right back. I cured it for three minutes. And as you can hear, they are hard as a rock. Now I'm going to go in. I contemplated putting a light blue over, but I think I'm just gonna go in with the clear. I'm gonna um, fill them up and then I think, I don't know if I have to do the bottom or not. I did flip them over and I did the backs just in case, but everything sounds hard. And of course I got some stuff on the front. So let's get these off one at a time and see how they turned out on the back. The tape didn't stick. That's good. Even the backs look good. You see? Oh my gosh, you guys, this is like so easy. It's almost too good to be true. There's one. I did see somebody doing this on YouTube and the tape stuck and they couldn't get it off. And if that happens, they used acetone and it came off. I'm glad mine did not do that. Here's the back. And the front. Oh my gosh, I love these. This one's pretty much the same, just in the antique gold. This is some sticky tape. I tell you, you think Timu's gonna have garbage products, but they don't. Their products are very good. Very comparable, or if not better, than Amazon. If you are going to shop from Timu, there is a link in my description that will help save you some money. Just go on to that link and um, shop from that link. That way you can save some money and I'll earn some credits to help me buy some of these things that I do for demos. So that is greatly appreciated too. Here's the back. These came out so cute. And the last one, remember this one, if you have these kind, make sure the tape goes up underneath that portion of it. And this tape actually came with the bezels, even though I bought extra tape, not knowing this tape did come with the bezels. And that's the front. And that's the back. Let me know what you think, guys. Any suggestions, any comments, please put them in there. I would love to read them. I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. And I will see you tomorrow on the next one. You guys all have a blessed day. Wait for some end pictures and you'll see them up close. Bye-bye.